Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another episode of Inama Zoo. And in the last episode, we built a grassland, aka savannah habitat for the amazing cheetah. And I really want to thank you all so much for your incredible support on the video and also on the channel itself because we hit 100,000 subscribers this weekend and I can't really describe in words how much this means to me. But thank you guys so, so much for your incredible support on each and every series on the channel. It really, really means the world to me. So thank you guys so, so much for that. So in this episode, we're going to build an okapi habitat and you guys voted for this animal to come next for the next episode because we obviously already know how many animals we want to have on the right side and what kind of animals. But I was just curious to see what kind of order you guys would love to see and uh, what was your preference. So the first one was the okapi and after that the African wild dog I think it was and after that we got the Niyala or the Bungo or the Nam Monitor something like that but it's gonna be fine I was just really curious and it's fun because since we did the like grassland savanna habitat for the cheetah first we now are going for a more jungle African forest-ish mountain so yeah, this is definitely a way different habitat like we did for the cheetah. And I just really, really love to see how this mountain is getting shape. And honestly, the viewing from the top of this mountain is just absolutely stunning. So I really, really love it. And it really gives just a whole new dimension to our Inama Zoo in this case. So at the back of the habitat is the entrance for the keeper. I just extended the staff path that is going through the middle or underneath the ground through the middle. And I extended that path to make sure that we have a keeper gate in the backside. Please do keep in mind that this this is mostly built for the Jeep Safari itself. So yeah, we're still like, it is a little bit different than the Boat Safari. The Boat Safari we're doing right now in, in a different zoo is really built for only the Boat Safari itself. Now this zoo also has like this main plaza in the middle, middle of the zoo. And that one also has a beautiful viewing of course, but the rest around the Jeep Safari track ride it's mostly built from the viewing point from the Jeep Safari itself. I'm doing a little bit extra, but the most important thing is obviously the Jeep Safari itself. So I started off with like uh, painting the mountain and trying to put down the rocks and stuff where I want them to be and make sure that the traversable area of the okapi would not be like hurt too much. So I want to make sure that the okapi is still able to walk up and down of the mountain because obviously it is very important to have the okapis on different sections. Now normally you would have two okapis in a habitat but because this is like a huge habitat I added two okapis more just in case that well I just want to make sure that you will see an okapi at some point when you're driving in the jeep obviously so I want to make sure that we see okapis. It's a little bit like the same what I did with City Zoo and the cassowaries. I added four cassowaries just to make sure that I had some cassowaries in my cinematic shots. But that is basically a little bit of the same reason here. But now we work towards the viewing point of the Jeep Safari itself. So I obviously had to make sure because this mountain area is going to be divided into two habitats. So this particular part of the mountain is for the okapis. And on the other side of the mountain, we're going to have probably the Niyala and the Nightfark. I think we're just going to combine the two in the habitat. No, I have no idea if the Artfark will be able to really climb up on the mountain, but we will see about that, obviously. And in the middle section of the water, there is going to be the beautiful Nal Monitor. I don't think we have to do too much for that habitat. I only need to make sure that the Nal Monitor is not able to swim out towards the bigger section. I think it's going to be even more challenging when we have some babies in, but maybe I need to uh, take care of that and give them some contraceptives. But maybe we can also squeeze that in with the episode of the Niala and the Artfarks because I think we don't really need to do too much work 
for the Now Monitor to add it also in our zoo. So that's gonna be super exciting because I love the Now Monitors. So I'm just super excited to see them in our zoo soon. So I started off as a set with like a lot of rocks and stuff to draw out the mountain. After that, I really tried to put down like the bigger trees. I think I only used two type of trees to make sure like to put them down in the right area. So really from the point of view from the Jeep and to make sure that the the biggest trees are like put down in a good way to also still have like sunlight and not too much shade everywhere so I really paid attention to where I put down all my trees at some point and I think it worked out really well after that I started with putting down the bushes and I think they're called ferns I'm not really sure yet like uh mostly the apple trees I sunk them down into the ground too and I really wanted to make sure that it looked more darker green and more dense because that is like the most the biggest downside of this biome in my opinion that you can't really get like the darker brown color for like mulch for example so yeah that is the only thing especially when you're going to do these kind of forest, rainforest, it is really hard to get like really that darker feeling. And I am honestly not going to put down real mulch like you have in the game right now everywhere on the mountain. I honestly don't want to spend hours on that. So yeah, we have to just look through it, I guess. And I tried to do my best to make it as dark and dense as possible. And the good thing is that the Okapi can walk through most of the apple trees and stuff so i think that at least has like that feeling that the okapi is really going through the forest and stuff so i really do like that and obviously to make sure that the okapi would be using the mountain like it's a pretty steep mountain uh, but we going up and down we have several enrichment items we have enrichment items on the top so like a feeding tray and the rubbing pillar and we have a water pipe hidden because I don't like the water pipe but I wanted to make sure that was a little bit of water on top of the mountain too and down of the mountain you will find a bigger lake that lake is more in the style of the grassland area because the grassland area for the elephants and for the giraffes is also on that side so I wanted to make sure that that blends in a little bit more so the mountain is really more foresty dense and darker and then when you come down out of the mountain then you will have like this more grassland but still a little bit of the trees from the mountain just really something to make it blend in more from the two different sections and obviously a pond to make sure that the okapi can also drink underneath and there's also like this leaf thing enrichment item not really sure how that one is called but like that wooden frame with like those leaves hanging from it so yeah that one is also down the hill so to make sure that the okapi uh will also be attracted a little bit more to walk down again. Another thing that is really, really good to mention is that I was able to fix the Jeep Safari. I was actually uh, messaging Shante from Frontier Development. She's the community manager of Planet Zoo. And I was like, gee, you know, I just really am not able to fix my Jeep Safari for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I also have my boat safari and the boat safari just works with like if you even not even have the track connected you can already test the boat safari and for some reason that just didn't work with the jeep safari like I have a complete track going completely around I have one station but it still didn't work but the difference is the track the rides just work different so <laughs> for the jeep safari you really have to make sure that indeed you have a complete track but you also need to make sure you have an exit station you have an entrance station and you have them connected to the path so you really have need to have a completely connected station because then you are able to test the ride so okay we know that now so now i have a working jeep safari which is really nice and useful because now i can really test to see especially in this region that's very useful to see if like trees and branches and stuff are going through the jeep safari so i have to move them or rotate them a little bit so yeah it's very useful that we now have a jeep safari that works and for everyone that had no idea either like how that works you need to make sure that your station is completely connected including your 
entrance and your exit so make sure you connect that and then you can just test your jeep safari as much as you want to so as i said like I'm, I'm going to show you guys the cinematic shot at the end of this video but the top of the mountain is definitely one of my most favorite areas in this whole Inamazu. I think it's beautiful looking down towards that big dome we have in the middle of Inamasu. I think it just looks really, really beautiful. And I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about that. And as I mentioned, like the next stop is probably going to be the African Wild Dogs. And after that, we're going to finish off this mountain with probably an episode with the complete Niala Art Farks and Denal Monitor. And I think it's going to be beautiful. So I really hope to see you guys there, of course, again. But without further talking, please do enjoy the rest of this speed build video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this new Inama Zoo episode. Again, thank you guys so much for the 100,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much again for your amazing support. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.